Um, and for people who like to take their dog up to the cottage or go swimming in the pool or lake, we have a dog life jacket. I won't torture Parker today by putting him in it, but this keeps him buoyant for when he's not very comfortable with swimming. Um, next, we have some tennis balls. <coughs> And these are great for the dog tosser. It's great for me. <laughs> uh, this is great for me because I throw like a girl, so Parker can still run far and get his balls. So we also offer uh, small sizes. This is the medium size, and then we have the large size for larger dog breeds. Uh, these tennis balls are perfect with a ball thrower. We have a dog leash with our logo water bottles and containers to keep both your dog and owner hydrated. And uh, we have the leash for when, uh, lastly we offer the retractable dog leash. This is standing ironic to the Unleash the Energy campaign and the leash is an essential tool for when you can't get your dog to a dog park but still need to walk your furry friend. Thank you for that wonderful demonstration, Catherine. I'm looking forward to getting some of these items for my dog, but I'm not sure I'll be able to convince a 90 pound dog to get into a life jacket. <laughs> and now, to tell you a little bit more about our campaign, I'd like to invite up Mike Gerard, the project manager for the Unleash the Energy campaign. manager for Unleash the Energy campaign. I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. It was great to hear from Megan Nui on how important it is to have a local dark dog park that are safe, clean, and most importantly, easily accessible. <coughs> I'd also like to give you a big thank you to our model, Parker. They and thousands like them are the reason why we have decided to undertake such a project. One of the core values of Global Pet Food is supporting pets in all aspects of the mind, body, spirit, and soul. Global Pet Foods has put together an amazing program to help develop, develop dog parks all across our earth. <coughs> in the process, helping dogs do what dogs are born to do. That is run free, socialize, and play. Available in all stores across Ontario starting tomorrow morning will be a specialty line of high quality foods that will be shareable with the owner and the dog, as well as toys to stimulate dogs and other projects which can help promote the bond between the dog and its owner. It is our hope this initiative can bring owners and their furry companions closer in a healthy relationship. With all the proceeds from the purchase going to help dog parks is an amazing feat. Global Pet Foods is committed to this product. To show our long-term dedication, we are really excited to announce every year we will dollar match up to the first $100,000. This way they will fund, the fund will stay strong, and it is our goal within the next five years to develop dog parks coast to coast so that every dog in Canada has the ability to live a long and healthy active life. I would now like to invite the team back up on, to, on stage and we'll answer your questions at this time. Lynn just, uh, how much does it actually take to make a dog park, let's say, here in Oshawa? Does anybody have any idea? Uh, well, the number varies based on whether the dog park actually exists and we're helping to revitalize it or whether uh, we will be developing it from scratch. Okay. So uh, it really depends on the community. They'll apply for a grant from our funding program okay. and then based on what they need, we'll allocate the funds. Okay. Know by chance how many dog parks there are already in existence if they're already in the Oshawa area? Uh, yes, there is. There's five. There's around five in this area. Uh, one is just over on Harmony, actually. Uh, it's actually it used to be a conservation area that's being converted into an off leash dog park. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Julia Lukanski, CKDOAM. I was wondering, with the onset of individuals placing uh, needles in various items in dog parks, including uh, poisoning uh, meats and things like that, 
how would your dog park differ um, and offer protection to individuals who would like to use that facility for the dog? Oh, uh, well, uh, we will be providing the funding to help revitalize as well as develop the dog parks. So if that is a problem in some areas, that would be where the community is coming to us to say, this is what's going on, can you help out by providing the grant to provide maintenance for it, things like that. Um, we also are hoping with the grants that the communities can use the money to provide security at the park just to do a walk around, double check if everything is safe for the dogs. Our main goal is for the dogs to live healthy and active lives in a safe environment. Thank you. So that leads to a third question then. So parks right now, and Julie, I know, uh, works as a consultant to uh, Oshawa Parks. Uh, are parks police now? Because that is an issue, right? So do we know if uh, there's any security at parks now for kids? Does I know that police officers do go by to the parks occasionally. Not okay. sure so how that, often. So that would be an issue for the dogs too. Okay. Yeah. So that's again something that communities can bring forward when they're applying, yeah, when they're applying in order to protect the dogs. Okay, thank you. Okay. And Julie, Sorry, again? Again. Um, will you be using utilizing volunteers in the meantime, or will you be using people for hire to maintain the parks? Um, well, again, we're actually we're funding the program, yes. so our goal is to develop those dog parks. It's actually up to the group, the community, yeah. whoever applies for the grant, to provide it. Provide that. Okay. Yes. Thank you. But we're providing the funding and helping them in the process. Okay. Thank you. 